Hey guys, it's Brock from Talking Toys. Just doing another Talking Toys short. I'm just doing another toy hunt video. Just seeing what I could find at Walmart, Target, and Meyer. Alright, coming up to the Marvel Legends. As you can see, not a whole lot. Pretty bare. Let's see if I can see if there's anything on Star Wars land. Uh, there is not really anything. Star Wars area. Yeah. So. I think this chalks up as a loss just because so few things. Took a chance on a Monday because usually they kind of restock stuff here and there. But I don't think there's any luck at this one. The Legends section and Target. Trying to find some stuff. Spider-Man Vintage now here, obviously. But everything else seems to be video game characters and whatnot. Just no. I'm looking for the vintage stuff and they don't seem to have any. This is step two. Yeah. Let's try the Star Wars section. Easy to find that, like, Apocalypse uh, Sugar Man Wave. I'm sorry, Sugar Man Wave from Marvel Legends. But, yeah, let's look at the Star Wars section. From the Star Wars section, obviously no new Star Wars figures. None of the new ones. All old ones. Alright, so that's the target. Strike 2. Go area. No Ninja Turtle figures. Something I thought I'd note in my video. And it's just interesting to note that the, you always see these McFarlane multiverse figures. Or like Marvel Legends. They're always sold out. So just something to take note of. It's just kind of an interesting comparison between these figures and then Marvel Legends. You always find these figures. But then Marvel Legends are always uh, missing. So yeah, not a whole lot. No NECA Ninja Turtles at this target, unfortunately. Okay, so for you guys that don't know what this store is, it's Meyer. Um, this is their toy section. Um, they're building one in my neighborhood as we speak. They do, they do carry Marvel Legends and all sorts of stuff. Just thought I'd let you guys take a look at what it's like. But as you can see, they don't have what I'm looking for, which they do have a lot of Marvel Legends, though. I mean, just a lot of new Marvel Legends there, you know, the modern legends and stuff like that, so, they yeah, got some older stuff too, so, you know, this is kind of like their whole Marvel Legends section right now, it's funny because I do need this guy, this piece to this guy, so I might see if he's on clearance, you never know, why not try, but as you can see, no vintage line which I was looking for but a lot of stuff like older stuff from older lines got the molten man stuff and yeah what a we had a lot of stuff just overstocked old stuff really there's another spider man I don't know that clean looking red guardian stuff like that you know let's check the Star Wars section which you know is like any other Star Wars section, so... Yeah, this is a little, uh, different kind of place. Meyer, it's not Walmart or Target, but, uh... Obviously, didn't have what I was looking for, so that's Strike 3. There, uh... My toy Hunt. So I thought I'd check out one more Target before I left. And as you can see, same old. No vintage stuff. Same old game reverse sugar man wave. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think this guy, my co host, uh, Kyle, you hear on Talking Toys, is looking for one, so I guess I'll pick that up for him. Uh, look out for him. So it wasn't a, a whole wasted trip, so I'll definitely get this for him. Um, but as you can see, I haven't seen a whole lot of things I wanted. I just wanted the Spider Man vintage wave and the. Uh, New Mandalorian wave with the uh, Count Dooku and um, Mandalorian and Kip Fisco. 
wave as the figures I'm looking at. Hi, this is Brock from Talking Toys. Uh, back from my toy hunt. Um, didn't really find what I wanted to find. I was trying to look for Star Wars Black Series, Count Dooku, Kit Fisto, or the Silver Armored Mandalorian. I didn't find those. Uh, Spider-Man Vintage. Tried to find those figures from Marvel Legends. So it was kind of more of a loss for me than a win. Uh, but I did want to make this video just kind of show that side of collecting where you do walk away empty-handed in a way. Um, I didn't walk away totally empty-handed. Um, I did get these Lego Harry Potter blind bag minifigs. I put them in my Harry Potter sets, incorporate them through there. And I also got Kyle this Marvel's Apocalypse Marvel Legends. So I got him that, and I didn't walk away completely empty-handed. I mean, that's for Kyle. Uh, as you know, he's the co-host of my show, or our show, I should say, Talking Toys. Just to let you guys know, I did get M Moaning Myrtle and Hermione Granger from that blind bag pack. Those, are, those were the ones I got. I was just beginning to think as I was doing this, and I didn't find what I wanted, you know, how much gas and how much time I'm putting in. Start to feel, the hobby starts to feel like a job as opposed to a hobby, a fun hobby. And a lot of stores just didn't have a lot of things stocked, like, you know, the vintage Spider-Man Marvel Legends, or the Star Wars, Hasbro Star Wars Black Series, or the G.I. Joe figures. I don't collect those, but a lot of people are due, and I didn't see any of those, or the 6-inch NECA Turtle line. So I, it does beg the question, why is the stuff stocked more often? I, I, would, I wouldn't be complaining as much if I saw a... a a full wave of G.I. Joes, or a full wave of Turtles, or one or one of the things I just, a full wave of one of the things I just mentioned. But it, you know, every store you go to is like fresh out of each. And I know those are high, those are high demand items, it's just, you know man, it starts to feel like a, a job than a hobby, and you start to wonder, is it worth it? So, I decided for our next topic on our podcast, Kyle and I will discuss, um, Frustrations of a Toy Collector, and uh, animated shows, animated TV shows, our toys are based off of, such as play sets and old figures and stuff like that, and also figures they're going back and making today. So, um, yeah, I just kind of, like, every store was fresh out of everything everybody wanted. I went to, like, four or five stores. Um, it, it, I'm just kind of surprised, so I, mean, I haven't gone toy hunting like this in a while. Wish I found more of what I wanted, but that's, that's how it goes sometimes, because it's a gamble, but, um, you know, we're definitely going to talk about frustrations of collecting, that's our next episode, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, we do need more subscribers to grow the channel, uh, please, that would be great, and also, feel free to comment, be a part of the conversation, what did you think about this little video segment, um, this is kind of like more of you know, coming up empty kind of thing. Uh, I did find things, but I didn't find what I came to look for. Um, but, you know, I was lucky to find something. Because uh, you do put in the time and the effort and the gas, and you do put in a, you, you put that in, and sometimes you come up empty. It's a gamble. But, um, yeah, let's hear what you say in the comments. Um, that'll be the next episode. It should be out before the end of September. Um, trying to do more with the channel. And, uh, yeah, wish I found more, but... Maybe you could share your story of coming up empty or what your latest toy hunt was and what you found. All right? All right, so hit that like, subscribe button on our uh, YouTube channel that's Talking Toys, as well as our Facebook page for more uh, news and updates. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. Stay safe and stay smart.